Hi hi everyone, welcome to Eden Secret. This is Karen here in the Eden Valley near the Lake District in Cumbria um, bringing to you a pack and chat video. Now what word do we use in Cumbria uh, instead of chat? And the word is actually crack. So this is a pack and crack video for you this morning. Um, well, it'll be this evening by the time you're seeing it. And uh, this is part one. Uh, we've got another couple of parts to this video. So we've got part one today. And uh, obviously we'll have part two for the next video and then part three. Okay, I just thought I'd let you see what another beautiful day in Cumbria looks like. Um, so I've just got one order here to go. I have got more to do, but I'm just going to do them one at a time, which is how I usually do them. So what I'm doing here is I'm just folding the tissue to fit the box. So it's a little bit uh, small, so I'm just going to move that fold over a little bit more. Gonna pop the tissue into the box like so. And then going into this order, I've got a honey wash bath bomb, which is one of these going in. So at the moment, that's how they are coming packaged to you that flat in the box. I've got a pink champagne soap. The, these are the boxes I've got. Um, luckily I had quite a few. been trying to find a box to fit my soap and I bought a lot of these boxes in different colours but they're just not wide enough. These ones are 8x8x3. Eight by eight by these are 9x9x4. Nine by nine by so they're a little bit, no, they're 9 by 9 by 5 so they're a bit too deep, um, but better to be a little bit too deep than a bit too shallow, which is what these boxes are. But the great thing is I can now use these boxes for all my our solid body butters. Um, so that's going to go in there as well. I've got a nice pretty blue box as well for the daffodil and melon soap. I've ordered five different colours of these boxes um, from China so I'm probably not going to get them till the end of July because anything you get from China is really really slow. The only problem with the new boxes is they're six centimetres deep so I don't know whether I'm going to alter, alter the folds on each one or just leave them six centimetres deep and put some maybe some just won't look as nice if you put some fillers in there like some packing peanuts uh, so we've also got a pink champagne solid body butter and a pomegranate noir um, soy wax melt we've got a Kenzo flowers soy wax melt a Dolly Rocker soy, soy Wax Melt and a Pink Champagne Soy Wax Melt. Now these boxes actually have a, a fold further down and as long as the products come below that you can actually cut them and shrink them um, and make them fit. So I'm just going to put some packing peanuts in there as well. Not too many, just enough to fill that um, that bit of space that's not got anything in it. Because when you're shipping, you don't want your products to move around. So we're just going to fold over the tissue. Like so. 
and then just put a slit down the side of the box down to that fold so these boxes are from kite packaging and they are the nine by six by six inch boxes um i'm just going to pop the the order form in there but Hurley, if you're watching thank you for your order this is your box parceled up and ready to go And I always put the person's name on the box so I know who this box is for. And I should always go around at least twice with my fragile tape just to keep it nice and tight. And then with the end, I just stick that onto the edge of my worktop like that. So I never lose that end. I can't get used to using the tape roll cutter. I have got one, but I could never get into using it. Um, so I don't. Right, so that's that order. We'll move on to some more in a minute. Okay, so I've got some small sample, leftover samples of Angel Aura solid body butters. So I'm just going to pop those into a self-sealable bag. Now you can actually buy biodegradable ones of these now uh, but it's being able to get them in all the sizes that you want them they look really cute in those little bags I have to say that's the only thing with them the little sticky peely thing that you peel off the back is hard to get off your fingers So if you have a bit of double-sided sticky tape, so either just totally stick stick to you, they're like magnets. So I like to have a bit of double-sided sticky tape stuck down and then you can just stick them onto that. Now the other thing I have is for, for my samples, I have these pre- printed um sticky labels and they just have free sample and my logo on them and so i'll write on there i have a space for each one so i'll just write on there which product i'm putting in so angel aura solid body 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 butter because it says free sample and no it's just a free sample of angel aura so solid body butter so i'm going to write that four times because i've got four And just stick those, peel them off and stick them onto the back of the product like so. So then you can see what's in the bag on the front. Uh, 
and all my samples fit in there my wax melts some small samples of soap fit in there I'll just measure those bags actually and let you know what size they are because I know you like to know every little detail so inch inches they are four and a half four and a half yeah four and a half by three and a half centimeters it's seven centimeters by about eleven and a half but i don't know whether when you're buying them whether they're selling them like the size of the bag sealed or the size of the bag open so if it was just folded over and sealed the size would be uh, three and a half do you know what size did I say these bags were in inches they're actually three and a half by 2.75 and then seven centimeters by nine centimeters so they might sell them like that I think nine centimeters by seven right so I do already have some wax melt samples so I'm just going to pop some of those into my back into my tray now we're going to wrap we're going to wrap the products so at, at the moment i'm just sorting through my labels uh, so i know what i need these are my cupcakes so I only need one of these so I know it's a white label I need to make a donut label I think yeah they're all pink twinkles Okay, so I've got some A6 cell seal bags here and I'm just going to pop my doughnuts in there. These <clears throat> are the doughnuts that I'm selling off cheap. You see the difference in colour. 
I mean, I guess it's not that ugly. Um, but I guess they've turned red. They're not pink at all. you want a little pan. Why Rick, do you want a little pan? I want a little pan. I want a little pan for my little eggs that I'm going to boil and have for my bait when I go to work. Did you know the camera's on? I hope it isn't. It is. <laughs> Of course, it is on. Because these are getting sold off cheap, they haven't uh, got the foil on the labels and they won't come in a box, they'll just come like that. So you cribble you, aren't you? When I'm making a fool of myself, you don't tell me the camera's on. When I'm being sensible, <laughs> you tell me to shut up. Shut up. <laughs> in a square bag. And you're coming to annoy there me, aren't you? There was nearly a murder know? last night. Why? You were snoring is horrendous. <laughs> God, you God. weren't here last night. What are you talking about? Well, this morning when I got in bed, your snoring is horrendous. I know it is. I'm going to smother you. I'm literally going to smother you. And who's going to look after you then? Well, I'll just half smother you then you recover. You know you'll be getting into trouble. <laughs> saying that. You don't want to come and, come and sleep Have to put up with a, me. Yeah, put up with you snoring for a night. They'll be, they'll be on pillow with me smothering you. <laughs> Well, I don't deny it, do I? Most people say, no, I don't. You know what makes me laugh? Yeah. The fact that if I snore, you nearly break your kneecaps off <laughs> when you're kicking me. No, I, I, I knock your chin. Yeah. I knock your chin up like kick, that. You kick me on my knee. And when my knee's bent, when, when you... I kick you on your knee? You kick us right on my knee. If I snore, not that I do snore, you kick us I'll on tell me you knee what and you try do and do. you try and bend me knee backwards. You about break me leg. I tell you what you do. do. Every thirty seconds or a minute, this happens from the moment you get into bed till the moment you get out. Your foot goes like that. <laughs> and then thirty seconds later, no, it, it does. It does. <laughs> That's because I'm on edge, because I don't know what you're <laughs> going to do with it. I don't know why it does that, but it does do it. Never it. It's always done it, as long as I've known you. 
Yeah, that's why. Never, never used to do. I'm nervous, you see, being around here. Come on, come on. I mean, when you were at home, you used to rock back and forth in your chair. So, come on. I'm not the one that makes you nervous. to wrap up honestly I'm just using a scalpel here to loosen the label donuts wrapped up they're done so then all the other soaps just go in a bag without the label and then I'll show you what we do with those at the end to make some more of this angel aura because I've got a stock of that one and then I didn't tell you what they were did I I'll tell you what I'm going to do first though put it on that side of day. I'm going to get some double sided tape for the I'll just stick it on my fragile tape so that's the unenchanted rose And next up is the um, Technicolor soap. Marble Magnolia
and then another doorknot this is the rockstar doorknot from the new ones that we saw recently <coughs> definitely think they look so much better more simple and plain like that and that one it won't get the wrapper on because that's going to go into a box Another Angel Aura. I prefer the neatness of wrapping in cello, flat cello with tape on, but the tape doesn't look very nice so that's why I've decided to start packing them in these cello bags and the other thing with the cello bag if you've got any room in your box that you're putting them in it uh, it fills in those gaps so you don't have to put any extra packing in there It's easier, much easier for the customer to open. That's the other thing. And then we've got that last one was uh, luscious lemon. Then we've got a bar of flirtatious here. I need to make some more of this as well. Now, for the solid body brushes, I actually just put those in a, um, what do you call it, shrink wrap bag. Because they actually go in a smaller box. And I'll just pop them into one corner. Then I fold it over like so and twist it. And then I'll just pop that round the side like that. Because the boxes that these go in, there isn't a lot of room, a lot of spare space in them. Where the other boxes, they have a a decent amount of space in to fill up right so so oh, I need there's also the the bath bomb so the bath bomb just gets wrapped up in a bit of tissue like this dead simple so when you open the box you can smell it and it i just think bath bombs in tissue would look great like that um right so now i need to get the boxes so these are the boxes for the solid body butchers i did buy them for soap uh but they're just they're about three millimetres too small and the soap looks so squashed into them. Uh, but it's okay because they're still big enough for the solid body butters. So 
that's the okay my uh, SD card got full there so that's why it cut out in the middle of nowhere Stupidly, I've made two, two tops. The yellow is for my cashmere massage bar and the blue was for my angel skin. See, it's a bit of a fiddle on putting boxes together. Right, so that's that's the cashmere box. It only goes on one way. This is the lid for the angel skin. So a lot of the I don't watch TV but I do watch like streaming and it seems like during the lockdown there's loads of programs that are just not going to be made so it seems like they're struggling to upload new stuff on any of these websites so I've uh, started to watch Lost again on Prime Video could be the fifth or sixth time I've watched that show and you do forget what's been on uh, before so I'm really enjoying watching that so anyway with the solid body butters I put a little tag in a laminated tag on the bottom to say what a solid body butter is and then I just pop the product in there Pop the lid on. I'll just do the same with the angel one. And then I take take the labels. Because my vision isn't very good. I have to put glasses on for this, this bit. And then the side that has the lift off, I actually put the label on going the other way. Just make sure it's centered. And then I tape it over, just keeps it nice and sturdy, ready for shipping. So all the information's on there. Um, if you want to open it, just pop a slit down 
either side and you can open it or you can peel it off but the neatest way would just be to put a slit down there now this is one of the center labels that come from the center of the sheet and it it's sort of cut down the sheet like that to make it easy to peel um, but it doesn't make it easy to peel it makes it difficult to peel off and that's again just popping it on so that's how the massage bars come now packaged in a beautiful gift box right it's now time for the soaps so my soaps now come in these gorgeous boxes so any soap you buy unless it's on offer will come packaged in a, in a gift box like this uh, have ordered loads more of these so there will be more than just pink and blue but for the time being until they arrive I've I've only got pink and blue so um, they're nice and strong I mean they're not strong like my gift boxes but they they make a really strong box and the way they put together is so much quicker than those other style boxes plus they're prettier so because they've got this cello on around the outside it's loose it actually works out quite well because it holds the soap in place and then the box has this this cute little lip here so and a little slot on the other side so when you fold it over you can just slot it in like so fold it like that that was the angel aura soap so i need the angel aura label and then again just make sure with that is centered perfectly and then there you go that's how the soaps come packaged now beautiful eh love them so we're just going to continue packing these soaps now I'm hoping this doorknob is going to fit in here. Oh yes, so cute. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm actually just popping a, a scalpel in there to loosen the back off the front. Just makes it easier to open. I know usually with a label you can just stick your nail in, but I don't know what it is about these labels. You can't really do that. So that's what the doughnut soap comes like. So yeah, so I'm I'm watching um, Lost again and Lost has always been my favourite number one TV show ever. Um, the, my other number one favourite TV show. And I know I'm 55 and it's basically a kids show. But 
it's the Vampire Diaries. I think it's awesome. But I think I've watched Vampire Diaries more times than I've watched uh, Lost. But I'll, I don't know what channel it is in the States, but is it the CW? They seem to make t TV series that are far longer than 10, 10 episodes, so they'll do like at least 20 episodes per season. Um, and I really like that. Like in the UK, we're lucky if I was at 10 episodes, so to me, it's like the episodes in this country they never really get going um or they'll do like a mini series that's only three or four episodes long um so you're just getting into them and then then they finish um i shouldn't say this because i'm english but i think americans make far better tv than we do But then again, they're better at everything than us, isn't that right? <laughs> Only joking. What soap did I just put in there? Oh, luscious lemon. You know, even from being a kid, I think that's why I love the States so much. Like when i was a kid i wanted to be called marie like marie osmond and i absolutely loved love look i still do but when i was a kid far more absolutely loved the way they took you talk over there um and i wanted to be american i really really did um and like as a kid we had absolutely nothing we i can't tell you like we were so poor i mean i remember it wasn't a common occurrence but i actually remember we ran out of food and um my mother went hunting for money in the house and she found just a few pence, not three pence, but maybe like 50 pence or something down the back of the sofa. And people might say she shouldn't have done this, but she, in actual fact, what she did, because she couldn't have bought much for 50p. She went to the bingo that night and it was, in those days, it was a prize bingo. So uh, it was just a cheap bingo. It's not like where you win loads of money. You just win tins, you know, tin food and and stuff like that. And it was honestly like God was on our side because she won. We hadn't eaten for three days. Uh, she won all night. And uh, she came back with two or three carrier bags full of food. And it was literally like Christmas. Um, it just sticks in my head so much what happened that day. So yeah, yeah, I have been, I do know what it's like to be very, very poor. So yeah, the programs I used to watch when I was a kid was like, I absolutely loved Charlie's Angels. I think that's the first TV show I can remember, kind of, I guess you would call it ob being obsessed with. Um, and then there was Starsky and Hooch, uh, Dallas, I did watch Dynasty but I definitely preferred Dallas. Um, what else has there been? Really, basically, as a kid, you know, they're only obsessed with certain TV shows as a kid, really. And then up until 
lost I can't even think of anything uh, but lost I just thought was so brilliantly made you know it always helps if the actors are good and good looking of course um, which they were in that show and I'm like even watching them now like they still look really really gorgeous to me like Kate you know the girls as well are all gorgeous okay so where was I before the SD card flew out on me I think I'm going to put that one in a blue box I was talking about Lost wasn't I so my, the most gorgeous actor on Lost is Sawyer he is so gorgeous I hope John's not in the kitchen listening and then the most gorgeous actor on Vampire Diaries is Damon Ian Summerholder absolutely gorgeous <sighs> we're missing a missing a label for that one I thought John was in the kitchen because I could hear him but what actually was going on is the eggs that he put on to boil, he left them, didn't he? So they've exploded. So we're packing Technicolor soap. So you can see how time consuming it is to pack orders if you're going to pack them pretty. Okay everyone, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video today and look out for part two coming soon to Eden's Secret on YouTube. I'll see you very very soon. Bye bye for now.